Hey everyone, this is Frosty, and today we're going to be playing a StarCraft 2 battle, and I'm going to be commentating while I play, and I haven't actually put up a StarCraft game in a few days, quite a few days, just because it's been crapping out on me pretty hard. Uh, I had to uninstall, reinstall, and then re-download all the patches, that failed, and then I had to do it all over again. But we have actually found a player now, so this is my first StarCraft game back. As you saw, I have a huge bonus pool, and we're going to be facing a Zerg versus Zerg. We're jumping right into the action here. And we are on one of the bigger maps, uh, Antigua Shipyard, so I'm really crossing my fingers that this Zerg player doesn't expand and that there hasn't been really any changes in the last five days. Um, man, I can't believe I haven't played StarCraft in like five days. <laughs> I usually play it every day, and it's just been... Uh, it's been a break, and I'm kind of scared if I'm going to be able to basically hold up my end, you know? Can I remember to do everything in the right order that I used to? I know it's been five days, but you never know. <laughs> so we're just gonna, yeah, just drone up like usual. It's kind of nice to get back into StarCraft. I've been playing the Skyrim and Battlefield, and it's just so serious. I guess StarCraft is serious, but I feel like Zerg isn't that serious, because, you know, they're like really crazy creepy monsters, you know? <laughs> and I get to face Protoss or Terran, and those guys are either going to be Marines or some out of space worldly guys. Those are the Protoss players, of course. Let's see here, gotta build another drone, of course, and I am going to be sending my Overlord out to this base up here, but he is darn slow, so I'm going to be probably wanting to send out a drone to scout a little bit earlier. And there pops my second overlord, so I'll go ahead and send him to another base to go ahead and scout. Whoops. And let's see, I guess I can't- oh, I guess I'll go ahead and send out the drone to go and scout those bases. He is now in my base. Uh, let's see, what shall I do? I guess I can go ahead and build a drone, build an extractor, and then throw up a spawning pool right after that. Nice timing on that extractor, he's not going to see it right until he comes all the way back around. Uh, yeah, so, and then I'm going to get my spawning pool right after that. And it's gonna go right, of course, right in front of this base right here, so that if he tries to run in with Zerglings, it really prevents them from running into my mineral line a lot faster. That's at least the way I see it. And I get a few more, well, I don't have any drones right now on that extractor, but we have actually just found him here in his base. I don't really mind running through the mineral line. He does not have anything down there right now. I think he might actually even be expanding. Let's go ahead and send this overlord, build a couple more drones. Uh, whew, it's kind of laggy. Sorry guys. I do have a couple other games open. <laughs> I'm just too obsessed with video games. I just, uh, I have to play them all the time. Uh, let's see. This Overlord's making his way over nicely. And I am gonna have speed way before him, and I think that might even actually scare this guy. So that's basically what I'm gonna be hoping for. Am I gonna go for speed first, or am I gonna go for that queen? I guess I'm gonna go for the queen. Wait a little bit. Oh, I don't really like being this delayed in getting my metabolic boost. It's just like three seconds, but it really kills me. Did I my? Oh no, he's still there. And his base still is not finished. It looks like he's just getting his first gas now, so he his gas is gonna be way behind mine. Let's go ahead and get my army out towards his base whenever they decide to come on and looks like he's just got his zerg speed right now let's go ahead oh i can't even build his bailing nest right yet all right bailing nest is now on the way and we can see here what is he gonna be building it looks like he was gonna try to attack me uh no zerg speed on the on the way yet for our other zerg player here but i can inject some larva Whew. starcraft is so intense i just forgot <laughs> Um, it's so early game though, but oh, it's just so intense. It looks like no Zerg speed yet, even still. Queen is not even out yet. Oh my gosh, but there is a load of Zerglings and a Roachhorn on the way as well. Let's go cancel this Bailing Nest. No, I don't know what to do. Do we cancel the Bailing Nest? Do we not cancel the Bailing Nest? I'm not sure, but we'll go ahead and attack this. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually wait for speed. It should be done probably sometime soon. Yep, speed is just finishing up. Get some more reinforcements on the way. Oh, terrible lag. Terrible lag is going to kill me. <laughs> now let's go ahead and run on up. Speed should be done now. Ooh, I could go for Bailings. That would be actually kind of really good. There we go. Let's go ahead and just surround those Zerglings. Get, just finish them off. There we go. And actually killing the Queen as well. He does. I'm not in the greatest position. There we go. That's a better positioning for me. And then let's go ahead and surround our Queen here. That's going to stop him from getting as, you know from getting a lot more zerglings or roaches, and I actually need to build a roach horn, but I'm just gonna go for zerglings right now. Let's go ahead on in here and go ahead and attack that queen. I don't want, uh, I don't want any distractions, so <laughs> I'm gonna 
kill off this queen. It's basically stopping the larva production. He does have a bunch of zerglings, but I do have speed. It doesn't look like he even got any roaches out right now. I do, though, need to inject. That is one thing that I always continue to lack on, is my injections. So, uh, looks like this is actually going perfectly well. Um, for now, though, this is only temporary. It looks like he's going to try to attack me, but I am going to lose a little bit of force there. Let's go ahead and run on my guys in. This is looking amazing. Let's go up. Yep, there we go. Good game. Awesome. All right, so first game back in the StarCraft after our five-day break it is a good one. Our Zerg vs. Zerg has successfully been won by me, and I'm sorry it's another Zerg vs. Zerg. I know. I know. I have so many Zerg vs. Zerg on my on my channel. But here's one more for you guys. Let me know if you think I could have done anything better. I tried to work on my injection a little bit. I might have forgot a bit. But that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys very soon.